Hello, it's Mark here from ExcelOffTheGrid.com. In this video, we're looking at how we can stop our column widths of a table changing when we refresh a query from Power Query. So let's head over into Excel. Here I have a table that has been loaded from a query. And this table is based on these parameters up here. Now when I change one of these parameters, so if I change it to income, for example, and then go to data and click refresh all, as you'll see, the width of that column changes. So let me show you that again, refresh all. So our tables, the column widths can change, which if we're using this table for reporting can be a frustration because we want to make sure that we keep our column widths the same. The good news is there's an easy way to resolve this. So with my cell selected inside my table, I can come up to the table design ribbon and then click properties. The external data properties dialog box opens up. Now there's some useful things in here. There is a, an option to include a row number. Now if we're using Power Query, that's not a particularly useful option because we, if we wanted a row number, we would just use an index column. However, that option is there. We can adjust the column width and that's the one that's causing us our problem. So I will uncheck that option. We also have the ability to preserve column sort and filter and layout. Uh, so if we don't want to preserve any of those things, each time we refresh, we can uncheck that option. And we also have the option to preserve cell formatting. That means it will, if we've highlighted a cell, it will uh, retain that highlighting uh, based on its position. So if the second row has been highlighted, and then we refresh the query, no matter what's there, that second row will still be highlighted. So depending on your circumstance and your specific data, that may or may not be useful. Anyway, we've unchecked our adjust column widths. These other three options down here, I don't think are relevant when it comes to Power Query. So I'll just click OK on that. Now let's set my columns to a useful width. So that's done that. Let's make that one a bit wider. So now if I change my column widths here, so income, go to data, refresh all, perfect. So now my column widths have not changed. So that's how we stop those column widths changing when we have a table that is loaded from Power Query. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like and comment, and I'll catch you next time.